Oh. See guys, today's gonna be an awesome day. Serge and I are getting ready to go to Danny's because Swipe Motorsports has opened its doors. On top of making wheels, Swipe wheels, that we now have an extended catalog on top of what you saw in the AMG GTR, the Raptor S, and also the McLaren, we're also gonna be selling high-end cars. So, Sergio. You're winning forever out here, man. This, well, you know, I gotta get ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, here's the key. Where do you wanna put your shit? Trunk? Um, yeah. All right, let's do that. So we're gonna go see Danny right now, see what other toys he's got, but make a video on the event on the Bentley Mulsanne that we're gonna be selling for the first time in SwipeMotorsports.com. And that feels fucking great. I, my fucking God, I really, I'm, I injured myself really bad. I really injured myself, huh? Is your voice okay? You're back? No, it's, uh, it's bad. Ah. Oh. So Sergio just informed me that uh, Peugeot is gonna come over to America. Obviously, French car maker. They make some dope cars, but I just don't see how on earth they're gonna translate to American sales. Number one, car manufacturing is gonna be a really tough business right now if you're not an electric car company. Number two, the design is just not translate with the American audience. Americans like different type of cars, and it's been completely proven a billion times. That's why even the Jetta, the Golf, doesn't sell as much as it sells anywhere else in the world. And in three, do we we really need more cars on the road. There's so many cars already on the market that are not selling. We are at a time where each company is selling the lowest amount of cars because there's so many other options that you can purchase. So I am not entirely sure if Renault is making the right move coming to America because it's just gonna cost them money. What do you guys think? I'd love to, to hear your, your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think, Sergio? Man, I just think they're making way too many cars. Like That's there's it. not enough buying power. There's used cars are too good now. Mm -hmm. And even used cars are super expensive. Like, yeah. There's just not a market for them. No, and now especially knowing that all of the new generations are not buying cars and rather Uber, it yeah. makes absolutely no sense to keep expanding your car emporium into something that's completely old school. It's like buying TV networks. Who gives a shit, dude? Buy the IP, not the network, because you can put it online. And that's where the secret is to this. But either way, we're almost to Danny's. I'll stop boring you with business. <laughs> you talk so much about business, I just want to see cars. We'll get to them right now. It's cool, right? It's just disgusting. Yeah, it's cool. But you can't tell, you can't see the dirt. I should wrap my car. See? Because you can just go without getting it washed. Absolutely. Long period of time. I, that's hey, that's why I wrap my cars, man. Do you think uh, it's because I love the way they look? Nah, man. I fucking hate this. I'm just so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Danny, what do you got for us today? Ice Mulsan Speed. Mm. 2017. It's a really nice car. Mm. Let's go. Let's go check it out before I choke on my own saliva. We're here. Oof, oof, oof. You know what? I'm just gonna let Sergio take you guys through the car because uh, those are gonna be the epic shots. Ciao, Danny. This is the first car that we're gonna be selling, so please look after it. Please look after it. All right, he did it. He fucking did it. <laughs>
this out. I just don't want to have it here. I hate showing cars in dealerships. I think it's... Ugh. I don't know. It feels like too much of a pitch of sale. Also, I want to show you guys how it drives. I want to show you all the details and uh, what makes it a great deal, in my opinion, at the price that we're going to be offering. So, Sergio, you ready? Let's do it. Let's roll. I don't think it, the camera adjusted in time oh. for you to go like that. So, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm Maybe sorry. next time. I apologize. This is a 2017 Bentley Mulsanne Speed. What are the differences between the Speed and the regular one? So, more power. This one has 530 horsepower out of that V8 6.8 liter. Again, 530 horsepower. Another difference, the wheels. You have the Mulsanne Speed wheels, which are completely different from the regular ones. This one has the dark headlights too. I don't know if you guys can tell the detail with uh, the lighting that I have right here in front of me. Also, another big difference, you open the door and you're gonna see carbon fiber because it's obviously the Speed version right here so it's a little bit more aggressive it's got a little bit more horsepower it's got a couple of things here and there that make it a little different and it's sexy the one thing I love about this one specifically is the paint it's kind of like a mixture between a white and a silver but with water or ice in between and it looks incredible now the interior in all Bentley tradition my guys is obviously packed with the most insane leather that you'll ever see this is what really people that love Bentley's get out of their their cars number one it's completely a luxury car with a driver's feel so this is not like a Rolls Royce where you can just steer it with two fingers you're actually gonna get a lot more road feedback the leather there are 27 different types of leather that goes into building this car and obviously it's thick and everywhere even if you cut the leather in one piece like right here say that you wanted to do an opening the leather's not gonna show in a different color inside because the leather is so thick and so rich that it's just exactly what you get and what you see lots of chrome everywhere inside and out and obviously this is part of the old design instead of like the new one so let me show you the revs for example you're gonna rev the car and this goes up like this down uh, not a high revving engine it's supposed to be very comfortable it looks like like clocks in here like very luxury watches and clocks so I love that you have your navigation screen you have your three dials right here for your fuel your clock and uh, also your temperature which glad it's right there in the middle you have tray so you can hide your phone in there uh, AC pretty self-explanatory really this is not the version that's completely loaded with Audi those are the new cars so this one feels more Bentley than anything before very luxurious everything you touch is very heavy to the touch even the windows I mean you guys can tell right how amazing they are so we're gonna go out for a drive in this so I can talk to you guys more about what exactly makes it so special but also we gotta talk about the price because this car brand new was three hundred and eighty thousand dollars almost almost three hundred and eighty thousand dollars and right now this is gonna be for sale at around two hundred twenty eight thousand dollars the car has sixty eight hundred miles so uh, instead of you buying an s-class a new s63 this is for those people who want to buy something more than an s-class you want something more luxurious something that will impress people something that will get you that that feeling of of like oh my god I'm so rich this is gonna be that car it's fast it's smooth it's sexy and it has a lot of presence outside so let's take it for a ride and uh, just confirm everything that I just said and just assume that I'm right hundred percent all the time you can even brake traction here you have a rear wheel drive car 530 horsepower it's gonna move and also the brakes are massive they do break the car but obviously this is a luxury car that uh, you, you should just keep your distance between this car and the next one so that uh, you don't create any trouble for yourself or others again what's so special about these cars it's how easy it is to drive but at the same time how engaged they keep you with the road they're not as quiet as other luxury brands they give you more of that feel with that big engine you absolutely feel every single time you accelerate every time you're grabbing a corner whenever you move the steering wheel there's feedback right there again the materials are insane it's quiet it's got a great sound system too there's not much you can ask for unless you want maybe a car that's gonna be half a million dollars more to really feel a difference between this and 
something beyond this. That's what to me is so sexy about these Bentleys. I mean, they look great. Even the weekend has one. I was telling Sergio just now. By the way, Sergio's like, wow, I've never seen one of these on the streets, which also gives you the rarity of the car, right? Because there's not a lot of them. Whereas, let's say at Rolls Royce, you can find them anywhere on the street. These are more rare, but the weekend has one. I don't know if you guys remember his song Starboy, but he talks about a Mulsanne. And I, we've seen it. We've seen it with our own eyes. So uh, it's a rare car, a lot of presence, great feedback on the road. It's great when you're, whenever you're driving it and you want something else beyond just a boring luxury car. And again, for the price, why buy an S-Class? Why when you can get one of these? That's that's my point of view. What do you think, Sergio? I love this. Would thing. you buy me three of these? I'd buy I buy four. One. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Let's return this, put it back. Uh, for any information, guys, if you are interested in the car, please email us at sales at swipemotorsports.com. It's appearing on the screen right now. Uh, sales at swipemotorsports.com, and uh, we'll get back to you immediately and assist you with anything. We also provide financing if you're interested in that. We got your back, because we got it all, baby. And if you want wheels for your car, too, Damn, we also have those. Damn, it sounds like a commercial surgeon. Damn, I'm going way too far with this. What a salesman. What a salesman I am. <laughs> Stiff silly things. No. <laughs> so now we're gonna head back. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the back seat and I I just still can't believe this is my first Bentley Mulsanne at speed at Swipe Motorsports, baby. Step by step, we gotta build it up. And the next one's gonna be epic too. So anyway, let's just focus on this one, focus on the back seats. Uh, where I'm gonna take a quiet nap. No, I'm not, but you could. <laughs> Don't call me a dirty Mexican. What? You gotta finish the review in the back. Right. Um, yeah, and so also, not for real, <laughs> the back panels are amazing. Look at all the detail with the quilting and also on the front. This is one of my favorite details that the car has. You never get to see a beautiful back side of a car like this, unless they're completely wrapped in carbon fiber. So many little things here. Obviously, some of these cars have a fridge back there, for those of you who don't know. All of your controls are right here for your cooling and heating of your seats. Even moving your seats, because you can recline them and you can get a massage and you can just enjoy yourself. Because why not? Beautiful lighting, a beautiful leather roof, which looks amazing. Again, the carbon fiber that makes the speed. You have privacy. Let me show you something, guys. You see the ashtrays that we talked about? These are easily two pounds and you can really hurt someone. So these are great for self-defense in case you need them. So if you're driving in a weird neighborhood, sketchy neighborhood, and anyone wants wants anything to do with you, I'm just gonna throw them these at their face because God, they're solid. It's really rare that a company really takes that much pride and attention into making something so substantial, which again, is the problem whenever you buy a, uh, like let's say a BMW 7 Series. It looks substantial, but once you touch it, it's not. This Bentley feels completely substantial everywhere you touch it. So it's amazing. One of my favorites for sure. One of the most rare cars that I've seen. I even have time to fucking react like that, son. Uh, either way, uh, aside from almost dying, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Top Gear, which by the way, I follow Top Gear, of course, and I've been for a long time, Chris Harris is a fucking man, but Top Gear just did a comparison where they put a model as 100 e Let's say Chris Harris wasn't in that video. Let's I know, I know, Chris Harris was not in that part of that video, let's just say that, I'm just saying I love Chris Harris, he's a part of the Top Gear group. Top Gear just released this comparison where they're using a Porsche Ty Taycan, 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 and uh, they're comparing it against the Tesla uh, 100D. And in everything, the Taken won. But no one cared to look into what exactly was the model that they were using for the Model S to be compared. And the software that they were using. They were using three-year-old technology from Tesla to compare it versus the brand new car. They said, the, oh, the Taken accelerates from zero to 60 in uh, 2.6 seconds, while the Tesla Model S, 2.7. Everybody knows that the Tesla Model S does it in 2.3, 2.2 seconds today. I mean, 
it, it's so ridiculous and this is the reason why i did hyper fight this is the reason why i did banging gears because i know that as long as the company pays for their numbers to be better they're gonna get them and i'm not saying porsche is a bad company at all they're amazing at everything that they do and they're they're engineering beasts but they they can't beat tesla in anything right now just simply based on how long has tesla had their car out for trial and error and even after hearing these news the one dude that really brought everything to light was brooks my man brooks from official drag time so if you guys don't follow him follow him he's the man and he's got all the right information because they they were literally showing the number that he pulled three years ago when he was pulling data off the tesla and right now things are completely different and uh, you got to give it to brooks for standing up to the truth and for doing what he's supposed to do and i love that even elon musk took, took note of that and said yeah of course they're playing with our numbers and it's so annoying and so so obnoxious to just keep seeing this happen to a company like Tesla, especially if it's an American company and everyone all of a sudden just has like a thing for the, the taking is the better car. Ha, huh, bye bye Tesla. It's not, it's not. You can't come to the market with brand new technology and fight someone that's been doing it for 20 years. It's not, and it's just simple progression of a product, people. Nothing else. So Elon Musk, in response to this, decided that he was going to launch a brand new software update where he was going to give every single Model S owner 50 horsepower more. Why? Because he can, because he's Elon Musk and he's going to do it over the air and for free. So there you have it, guys.